Kim isn't the only Kardashian to have bared it all in a magazine. Kendall, her little sister, took it off in a recent interview magazine photo shoot. Uh, and Mama Kris Jenner is totally fine with this. In a conversation with HuffPost Live, she said, she has like the perfect body, especially one that wants to be in the modeling business. I don't know, I got a lot of curves and I couldn't pull that off, but she always looks remarkable. She went on to defend her daughter by saying she's got a good heart and she's a good kid and she's really happy so, and, and she's happy in her own skin, she's not shy, so it doesn't bother her. So they've been pushing these uh, girls out since they were like 14 at least, right? And it's always made me uncomfortable. So like, look, you push the three older Kardashian daughters out there and everybody's comfortable with that. We've already seen Kim in a porn, they're all adults, yeah. you know, you do whatever you want with that, God bless, right? When they started like putting the the fourteen year old girls in the press and they start taking pictures of them, I was like, dude, just wait a little bit, right? Yeah. Now, to be fair though, in, in modeling they do start early, right? And so she's a model, I guess. I mean, so, but to the point of this story, I don't know. Would you be proud? Proud, such a fascinating word, right? Like if she chose to be a model on her own, and in the Kardashian slash Jenner family, that doesn't who, happen. Yeah, I mean, it's all like one giant marketing machine. So I don't yeah. know what's really your own volition and what's not, and what your parents are like, kind of pushing you in the direction of. But if my daughter decided to be a model and then she did this, I'd be like, well, that's her choice, and I, and I'm proud of her no matter what. But would I want to have her go in that direction? I think the answer is no. Doug, I think you bring up a fascinating point with the word proud. You know, I find it, frankly, pretty odd when people say, I'm so proud of being, you know, of blue race, or I'm so proud of being, you know, six foot two. Those are things that you didn't fucking work for. They're things that you were born with, and right. I kind of feel like this is a situation where it's the same thing. For her mother to be proud of her for something she had no say in, I think is a little odd, and I don't think it's the best, in my personal opinion, it's not the best way to raise a child. You want to teach a kid and, you know, young woman that she can do something, that she can, like, put time, work, and effort and be smart and strategic and accomplish goals. I don't necessarily feel this is a goal that she accomplished. She just was very blessed to be beautiful and be born that way. Maybe she works out, she stays healthy, but yeah. Proud. She's 19. She's probably going to bed with a gallon of ice cream. Like at that age, it doesn't matter. She can, you know, she'll be thin. She'll be skinny. But and and I think you're right because I've seen like even like on like watch what happens next on TV. Like the, there's a stripper pole in their room, or there was at one point. And you see the little girls like twirling around the room, and so I think that their their morals are just slightly different than most people's. So what if so? So how old is this girl? I think she's 19. Think, wow. 18, so 18, right? 18, 18. She'll be 19 November. So yeah. Well, maybe she'll go into uh, and win the Miss America contest, and then we'll all be happy it for her. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about a callback. Right. <laughs> Seriously. I so, mean, if we're okay with her why, uh, being in the Miss America contest, so totally on her physicality, wouldn't we be okay with her doing this? I'm totally okay with her doing this, except for the fact that I don't know if this was her choice. I don't know if this was something that she decided um, as opposed to something that maybe her parents decided for her, really pushed her into, or you know, maybe she's yeah. uncomfortable doing this. I don't know this. She says she's perfectly comfortable. I want to believe her. So this is a family, like, I don't know what part the family had to do with Kim Kardashian's porn tape, but that tape was clearly manufactured. There's no question about that. It wasn't like, oops, we just did this highly produced porn with just the right lighting and all the right cinematography. Right. And, it, and oh, it got leaked out there, golly gee. So. And they're all comfortable with that, right? So I guess this is nothing compared yeah. to that. This so, is art. Yeah, and so you know, I think we're. I think Gina's right that we're looking at a different moral lens than the average person. And so right now, look again. I don't want to be overly judgmental. She's a model. She's 18 now. She's an adult. Yeah, and there's her mom nothing even, wrong with that. Her mom even said she just came off Fashion Week. I mean, this yeah. is she's constantly doing this. Right. Is it, is it wrong that I don't think I can be happy in, unless everything works out for the Kardashians? Yes. That's just how I feel. Uh huh. So. It makes me worry about you. <laughs> so so two two last things for me. One to back up what Lizette was saying. Um, I've read studies that women who are more attractive, on average, are actually less happy. Part of the reason is that they build their identity on their looks, and then that's a more fragile thing to build your identity on. 
and then so and then if something goes wrong, et cetera, uh, then they are less happy, and and they have to constantly keep up their appearances because that's what gives them their confidence, right. their sense of worth, et cetera. Whereas women who base their identity on other attributes like intelligence, et cetera, wind up being on general, in general, and on average, happier. So or it's you also double down like Lizette, and then you know right. it's all good. <laughs> Uh, you know, also oh, true. Gorgeous woman, amazing brain. Right. Uh, I'm starting sitting to, right next to one. Thank you yeah. very much. And Jimmy and I are left out of this, but whatever. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm beyond it. Um, Jack, so, I love your brain and your tits. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Jimmy. It's about time someone noticed. <laughs> <laughs> if my if my daughter got into Yale or Harvard or whatever, UCL, whatever, right? I, or she accomplished something that she loves, right? I'd be super proud of her. If my daughter's super hot and is a topless model, I mean, I'm gonna back her, right? Because it, uh, I love her and stuff. But it's not like, what if, yes, my daughter's topless and a super hot model. Like, I, it's, what if she's it's a top, weird thing to say, proud. Topless about. model, you would be okay with. What if a topless bartender? Ooh, I so it's about that the sounds... money? Is it the money topless that, that makes news. it news? I mean, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Topless news. Topless, topless. How about topless news? Is that news. one of your in ideas? In Canada. Don't they have that in Canada? I've seen it. In yeah. France? Yeah. yeah well, I got, no, I got. Traveling got I've dreamed it. Yeah. No, no, it, it exists. <laughs> I got interviewed by them. Did you? Yeah, Were but you she topless? kept her no, but she kept her clothes on. I was like, this is a raw deal. That was really it was insulting. In Canada. You. Talk about a She's like, switch. you're interviewing Jenk while well, I'm putting my clothes on. <laughs> <laughs>